All right, now this is a pretty cool tip. Rotating the clone of the clone stamp tool. Check this out. We're gonna zoom in here on the edge of this bowl and we wanna get rid of this blemish or what looks to me like a blemish. I'm not a pottery expert. I'm gonna grab the clone stamp tool and I'm gonna make the brush size a little bit bigger by just right clicking, increase the size of the brush. I don't know, maybe about 200 pixels looks good. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna hold down my Alter Option key and sample the highlight running around the edge of the bowl. Now, if I paint over this, obviously you see the issue. The highlight's not running the right direction. It's all masked up. Well, enter window. A clone source, the words got away from me for a second, and you have this angle of clone option. Let's increase that to, I don't know, 16 or 17%, something like that. Ignore your document if it looks like it's moving. It's not. Now sample off of that highlight, and you can see the clone actually rotates with the bowl as we move around it, and we cover up what I perceive to be a little blemish on the edge of the bowl, just like that. The angle of the clone in the clone source dialog. Really cool stuff in Photoshop. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com, and I'll catch you in the next one.